Well, hi, boys and girls. Thank you for joining me again today. Now, today I have one of my all-time favorite books to read to you. It's called The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. Let's get started. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Can you see the egg? One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Oof. That night he had a stomach ache. Oof. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. Now, I love this book because it talks about the life cycle of a butterfly. Do you remember? Here, I'll show you. So what was he first? Do you remember? That very tiny little, very good, egg. He was a little egg at first. Let's write egg here. What comes next? That's right. He popped out of the egg as a very small little caterpillar. Here we go. Let's draw an arrow like this. All right, who remembers what happened next? That's right, he was eating a lot and he got a tummy ache and then he turned into a big fat caterpillar. What did he do after that? Who remembers that special word? The small house that he built around himself? That's right, it was a cocoon. So, the caterpillar built himself a cocoon and he stayed in there for more than two weeks. Oh, let me write cocoon right here. And the last part, what happened after that? He nibbled a little hole in the cocoon and out came a 
a beautiful butterfly. Now you know the life cycle of a butterfly. Thanks for joining me again today. Bye-bye now.